Hey, what's happening? How are you doing today? Thank you so much for listening. I am Chris, and I'm from Podtastic Audio. And thank you for inviting me on your cool little web chat, chit chat thing going on today, all about podcasting with the great podcasting minds all coming together. Talk about podcasting. How fantastic is this? And I actually love podcasting. I love listening to podcasts. I love creating podcasts. And my podcasting journey takes me way back, like way back before podcasting like even existed. I was working as a driver. I still do. But back then, I was working the morning shifts and during the morning commute and morning hours, morning radio was all we had. In fact, morning radio was so like so massive. It was the biggest thing in town. These morning radio shows were, they literally were like celebrities, like if you met them in person. And I would go to all of the morning show retreats and on the morning show events. They actually had a morning show cruise that I went on all the way down to Mexico. And it was a great time hanging out with the morning show getting to know these people like face to face, hang out with them and their families. It was a great experience. And I absolutely loved listening to morning radio. So when I went from working the morning shift to working the afternoon and evening shifts, I kind of missed out on listening to all the cool radio shows. I like, man, I miss these morning radio shows. So I was like, man, this kind of sucks. I can't listen to my regular show shows anymore. But then in 2009, or maybe it was 2008, I got my first iPhone and one of the cool apps on the iPhone was podcasts. And I'm like, what is this podcast app about? So I go on the iTunes store on my computer because you got to plug your phone into the computer back then. And I plugged it in and I'm scrolling through all the different shows and different things. And I'm like, this stuff seems pretty cool. Let's find a couple shows that I might be interested in. So one of the shows I listened to was called Tech Stuff. And I don't know if they still do a show or not, but it was about like tech stuff and the new iPhones and new iPods and the history of iPhone. And they did more than just gadget stuff. They did other stuff too, but it was like tech related stuff. And then the other show I listened to was car stuff. I think it was called about cars and car stuff and, you know, general stuff like that. So things I kind of liked, like tech stuff, I like the car stuff. Great. So I listened to a little bit of that stuff. And then later on, I found out that actually the morning shows that I was missing out on were doing full-length broadcast podcast like versions of their morning shows. And I was like, this is amazing. I can listen to the entire show and skip all the commercials and skip all the music and get everything straight to the point and get it all done you know, and listen to it every single day, no matter where I'm at, no matter what time of day I'm listening, I don't have to be there at 6 a.m. listening to the radio. I can listen to it on my time, whatever I want, while I'm working at night or morning or whatever, the weekends, it doesn't matter. This is fantastic. So I listen to a lot of those shows. In fact, now we're going from 2009 all the way through to 2019 when I first decided to make a podcast of my own. Now, <laughs> Uh, I thought, like, you know what? This seems pretty easy. It's just like doing the radio show. I listen to the podcast on a radio show on podcasting. It's probably the same stuff. I bet I can do that too. So let's figure this thing out and create a podcast of our very own with simple gear. Because I figured, hey, if I'm going to do it with very simple, basic gear and see what happens, if I don't like it, who cares? Not much invested, invested at all. It was a fun hobby. This is 2019. Now, fast forward a little bit, we picked up some traction, had more fun doing it, got excited about podcasting, then 2020 comes around, and the COVID thing happens, and everybody is locked down doing the podcast of their very own. Great. All these millions of podcasts hit the market, and places like Anchor, which were doing free podcast hosting, great and a lot of these shows just emerged out of nowhere. Buddies sitting around. I mean, that makes sense. They're using Zoom for their work stuff anyways and for classroom stuff anyways. They're already using Zoom and things like that. So it only makes sense to maybe make a podcast out of that stuff anyways because what are you going to do? You're bored at home. I get it. I totally get it. So it totally makes sense. So I went through 2020 watching so many podcasts emerge. And then slowly as 21 comes around and 22 comes around, a lot of these same podcasts have disappeared. I mean, it makes sense. You got to go back to work. You don't have time to podcast. 
you're too busy. Nobody's really doing the COVID lockdown thing anymore. And so everybody's back to normal, back to the way it was. But if you're, you are an indie podcaster right now, and you are basically, all you have to do is just outlast a lot of the other shows that started in 2020. Millions have started and millions have failed by now. I don't know the exact number right now, but I can tell you this much that it's got to be a lot. A lot of shows that started in 2020 are gone. There's probably a few of them still around, and maybe you are one of them sticking around, doing your podcast thing, and that is fantastic. Keep on keeping on. But podcasting, it can be video like this. It can be audio like whatever. I prefer the audio thing better because audio is easier to make. It's easier to listen to. It's easier to create. It's easier to edit. It's just easier all overall. And audio outperforms video like, what, 10, 15 to 1 anyways. Think of another you know, video app out there other than YouTube to watch video on. I mean, you got the social media stuff, but YouTube really is where it's at. If you're not on YouTube, you're not doing video. You're doing something else, so do whatever. But with podcasting, there's so many different apps to use. There's Apple, Spotify, and hundreds and if not thousands more that I don't even know about. People can listen to stuff. And audio is so great. You can show off a lot of things. I always say the difference between audio and video is that with audio, or audio, you can pretty much listen to it doing other things at the exact same time. It's the only uh, media anywhere that you consume and listen and actually consume the product while doing something else at the exact same time. You can't do that if you're doing video. You can't do that in written content either because you're watching something. So basically anything you can physically do while you're driving is basically just listening to stuff. And that's why I absolutely love podcasting. That's why I absolutely love the audio side of podcasting. Now, video is fine too. Video is great. Listen, I'm doing video right here now. You know, whatever. It's fantastic. But audio podcasting, I think, is a little more superior in the fact that you can consume it doing other things at the exact same time. It's very portable. And I think that when it comes to audio versus video, it's just a side tangent here. I think the people that listen to more audio podcasts are probably like movers and shakers. They are the people that are physically getting things done. They're out and about. They're moving to the next job. They're moving to the next project. They're moving to the next presentation. They're always on the go moving. And people that watch a lot of YouTube now, that's just my personal you know, thing here is that I think that people that watch a lot of YouTube are just sitting in one place. They're sitting and watching. They're not moving. They're not, they're not productive. I mean, maybe they are, but I think if you're listening to podcasts, you're probably more productive. That's all I'm saying. So podcasting is where it's at. I absolutely love it. Now, nothing wrong with video. I mean, video is fine too. I listen a lot. I watch a lot of YouTube too. It's all fantastic. But hey, I hope this helps. I hope you have an amazing week and new year and all that great, wonderful stuff and happy podcasting to you.